So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install DXVK. DXVK is a translation layer for DirectX 9, 10 and 11 games to translate it to Vulkan. It's originally designed for Linux, but it also works on Windows. And it can be very useful for ARC cards because, because of the, the driver CPU overhead. It can often create a CPU bottlenecks in older APIs like DX9, 10 and 11. So I'm just going to show you how to uh, install it in this video. So I'm, I'm running the B580 here with rebar enabled with a 7800X3D. It's a bit overkill, I know, but even with this CPU, you can see CPU bound scenarios in uh, those older games. So what you want to do is you're going to go to this link. I'll put it in the description. Here you can download the latest version of DXVK. So I'm going to download it to my downloads folder here. And I'm also going to show you how to uh, use GPL Async, which is a different version of the XVK, which handles the shader compilation a little different and often uh, has less stuttering because of it. So I'm also going to download that one. So to open these uh, files, you might want to use some... Um, 7-zip for that because they use a .tar and that is something you can't open with the regular explorer so i both opened here just gonna close these windows so this is uh, the gpla version you have an x64 folder for um the 64-bit games and X32 for 32-bit games. And the same is for the regular DXVK. For the uh, async version, we do need to add a config file, dxvk.config. And in that file, we have uh, these two commands. I'll put it in the description. You can add that to that uh, file and name it exactly like this. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm going to copy paste those to the X32 and X64 folder so you can easily copy paste it. So now I'm going to show you how to install it. First, I'm just going to launch this game and see how it performs with DX11 because uh, Assassin's Creed Origins is a DX11 game. So I'm just going to launch it and uh, we'll see the settings and the frame rate we're getting. And I'm also going to show you how or you can see that it's CPU bound. So we're now loaded into the game and you can see we're having like 90 FPS here with the ARC B580 being utilized around 68 to 70%. And it does stutter a little bit. As you can see we're running 1080p settings with the high graphics preset. Just uh, remember those uh, those numbers. Now we're just gonna install uh, DXVK on this game. Just gonna close it here. I'm gonna right click on uh, Steam, manage, browse local game files. So this is the uh, folder for this game. So you wanna place the uh, DXVK files in the same directory as the executable. So this is acorigins.exe, that's where you need to place it inside this folder. Some uh, Unreal Engine games have a exe in the main folder that is not actually the correct exe. So if that's the case, just search for .exe and you'll get uh, something 64, Win64 or something like that exe. That's usually the one you need for uh, like Unreal Engine 4 games. So we're just going to copy paste the files we need. For DX11, we only need these three files. Just gonna copy paste that in here. For DX9 and 10, you also need these. You can also just copy everything over and it won't cause any issues, just that's the easiest, but you don't need all the all the DLLs for every API. But I just uh I usually just copy over everything, but I do know for DX11 you only need these three. So now we have it installed. I'm just gonna, it's not stopped yet. I'm gonna launch the game again. So the game has launched now. Just gonna go to the options again and show you that the settings are still the same. 
what can happen sometimes is that the uh, the game like crashes or or just freezes or whatever and sometimes it's caused by the overlay but it can also be that you do not have the uh, Vulkan runtime installed properly or it's it's just broken if that's the case you can visit uh, this link I'll also put it in the description and download the runtime installer here and install that to make sure Vulkan works properly so now we're just gonna launch the game and I uh, I put the the files for the x64 inside this game folder because this is a 64-bit game if you do not know if the game is 64-bit or 32-bit you can uh, do a quick google search or you can just uh, trial and error until it works as you can see we're now getting 130 fps with 100% uh, gpu usage so it's a, a pretty massive increase in fps so this game does have some issues with uh, dxvk it's a little bit stuttery for some reason as you can see like the frame time graph is not perfectly smooth but it's it's much much better than the normal one so if we want to fix that stuttery i'll just uh lock it to like 120 or something like that and as you can see buttery smooth very smooth frame time graph much much better than just the regular uh dx11 uh, version of the game so uh, this is uh, basically how you install the XVK. You can use this for uh, almost every, every DX11 or uh, DX10 or 9 game. But do keep in mind that uh, multiplayer games with anti-cheat might not like that you use that and they might ban you. Or they straight up won't launch because the anti-cheat uh, like protection thingy just sees that you're using Vulkan or whatever and it's just not gonna launch the game. So keep in mind that it uh, it, it works best for for older uh, single player games and not multiplayer. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope this uh, gives you some extra frames in, uh, in those older games and help uh, to overcome that uh, CPU driver overhead.